So I saw a question on one of the groups, and it's not the first time I've seen it, where somebody installed uh, new wheels or new brass hexes or wheel extent or hex extensions, and they are having issues with the axle uh, having enough room to actually tighten down your nut onto. Um, there are a couple things going on here. A lot of the hex extensions come with these brass uh, collared nuts. They're longer and they kind of go into the wheel inset, which then allows you to uh, grab onto the axle. So these little guys almost always come with the extended uh, brass hexes or like these treels here. It's because they know that you're not going to be able to reach your axle. So it goes inside and gets your axle. Now with a lot of these, and even I've mentioned in some of the videos with my stock hex nuts, I like to shave these down just a little bit, right? So you try to sand these more flat and uh, you gotta be careful that they stay flat because if not, you'll kind of have a weird wobble. But by taking these tabs down, these ears, it lets the hex sit more on the actual axle pin. And you can see here as well on these hexes, I actually had to take it all the way off because I've got these uh, wheel weights here. and. So I took it all the way down so that it's sitting more flush to the actual axle pin. Okay, that way when I tighten it down, I'm tightening down onto the axle pin and it's not binding in my axle. Okay, so I've got, no matter how tight I get this, I'll strip out the axle or the, the, the wheel nut before I will bind here. Okay, and that's just because it's actually sitting on the pin itself. Okay, not with the ears well oh, that just disappeared there we go not with the ears of the the hex nut whether it's brass and ex a brass extension or just a plastic one if you've got the ears sitting on there and pushing as you tighten down it's going to push against your bearing or your wheel weights or whatever is going on between your your wheel and your you know axle essentially or your hub and it's going to bind so again i shave these down a little bit on almost everything whether it's a plastic plastic one or it's a brass extension or just a wheel weight extension even my treels shaved them down just a little bit so that again it's sitting on the pin when i tighten the axle down and just be aware when you do this the axle especially on the fronts can pull in and out so you have to you have to shave it down a little and tighten it and then test your binding take it off shave it down a little more tighten it test your binding um, because if you're not tightening it all the way down and pulling your axle out, you could be sitting in here like this. And then when you do finally tighten it down, you have way too much slop in there. And you don't want to have a bunch of slop once you have your actual hex or extension or wheel weight extension on there. Cause like, like right now, my axle has pushed back in and I won't know how tight it is or how much, how far on I can go until I actually put my wheel back on and put my nut back in and tighten it down. And this works on stock, totally stock trucks as well. See, I can tighten, I am, that's pretty tight. Okay, I don't really want to go much more because I want to strip it. And I have very, I mean, it's it's pretty free moving here. And it just depends on the rig, but yeah, that's something to check for. When you're putting your wheels back on or you're changing over to different wheels or adding hex extensions or wheel weights or any of that, even on the stock guys, you can have that, that binding issue. Um, and if, again, the main question was, how do you reach your axle if it's too deep down inside your wheel? And the answer is these collared longer nuts. One thing of note, depending on your wheels, sometimes these may not fit through the hole very well. And I would be very careful reaming out your wheel holes too much. Um, just probably better to sand down the wheel nut. Just get some sandpaper and you can just wrap it around it and just you know, spin, spin, spin it with the uh, sandpaper. And you need to use your driver to get in there and just kind of spin it and get it sanded down a little bit. And, um, you know, that, that's probably better as long as you've got enough material on there than reaming out your, your wheels. Worst case, you can do a little bit of both. Just a little reaming on your wheels or put some sandpaper in there or whatever. And then uh, a little bit on the actual nut and you'll fit a lot better.
All right, so I hope that helped somebody out there. I know it's going to help some people, but hopefully it helps more than it does less. And uh, if it did, be sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell button so you know when new videos come up, and uh, comment below with uh, anything that you've uh, ran into in regards to this. Thank you.